In this video, we'll talk about Dogecoin and the bullish breakouts we've had yesterday. And in general, we will also talk a little bit more about Twitter and Elon Musk and everything that's going on there and what that means for Twitter. Obviously, we have to when talking about Dogecoin. Um, but yeah, so, so that's essentially it. So let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, I uh, want to welcome you to the channel or welcome you back. Um, I try to cover the Dogecoin daily. So if that's uh, something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe as well. But um, for now, um, yeah. Let's get right into it. So what we've seen, and I got to be honest, yesterday when I uh, when I did the analysis, what, what you could see is that we were getting some more bearish momentum. Um, and that was mainly, <clears throat> mainly because, I mean, right now Dogecoin, the reason why it's bullish, or most of the time at least, because all of these big moves were all caused by some bullish fundamentals related to, if not directly, uh, or like related to, let's say, Twitter and Elon Musk, mainly like a combination of, uh, of, of both. Um, and the thing is, is that like sometimes things are happening which you would not directly link to Dogecoin being bullish, uh, but it still happens. So, so right now it's, it's hard to analyze Dogecoin with that because you kind of have to read in between the lines. Um, so what we what happened yesterday is that we had some more bearish momentum because not a lot of things were happening um, fundamentally around Twitter and uh, Elon Musk. So what happened with Doge, what happens with Dogecoin is if that doesn't happen anymore, momentum starts to fade and usually the price starts to drop down. Um, now what we so what I thought is that yeah sure you had some bullish momentum coming up yesterday. I, mean, I, I think I made the, the video right here. <clears throat> But what I think was going to happen is that the bearish momentum would be stronger and that we would get a bearish breakout through 9.6 cents and that we would drop down to 9.2 and 9.4 cents. Uh, well, what we did eventually is we did not get that bearish breakout, but it, uh, it, it turned out that the bullish momentum was actually uh, stronger than the bearish momentum. And as you can see, we broke out of this trend line right here. Uh, took a quick break retest and then took a, took a bigger break retest later in the day. Uh, and now we're actually quite bullish again, as you can see, we're, we're really following like this bullish momentum along this trend line. I mean, you should not 100% follow a trend line, but that is essentially uh, kind of uh, kind of the trend. So this might have might have might be accompanied by bullish fundamentals around Twitter. Uh, but I mean, usually I'm, I'm pretty good at seeing what's going on in Twitter and why that would have an effect for Dogecoin. But right now I, I, I could not see anything. I mean, we can check out the Twitter of Elon Musk because usually that's where you can see something. But um, but but I couldn't find anything. So if you think I'm I'm, I'm wrong about that, then um, then tell me down in the comments. Could be, could definitely be. Uh, I mean, the Twitter files are going on. That's more momentum around Twitter, which is uh, all right. So that could be um, something good. And apart from that, yeah, th those Twitter pages are really the, the, the big thing going around right, right now. Might be bullish for Dogecoin. You could make an argument about that, but it's, it's really not something I, I could claim right now. So it seems like this is one of the, 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 one of the most bullish real market moves we've seen with Dogecoin. So right now it's happening. As you can see, we broke above 10.25 cents. Took a break retest. So that means that we're uh, quite bullish. So we're probably heading up to this level right here at 10.5 and, and 10.6 cents. Now, I think we're going to find resistance there, first of all, all right? So from there, we're actually going to drop back down to 10.25, 10.35, something like that. Then if we can actually hold that level or get bullish fundamentals, um, I think we can also break above 10.6 and, uh, and, and up to 11 cents. But I, I actually think it's more likely, I mean, and you should know, if we get bullish fundamentals for, for, for Dogecoin, so if anything big happens on Twitter or with Elon Musk related to Dogecoin, we're going to break above 10.6 cents and we're easily going to get up to 11 cents, 11 and a half cents, 11.8 cents, right? That, that's just the truth, but we cannot really predict that. So if we then talk about Dogecoin just uh, technically, I think it's more likely that that 10.6 cents is actually going to be too strong of a resistance level without bullish fundamentals. And that's more likely that we'll, from there we'll actually start to drop back down towards kind of 9.9, 9.8 again forming or, or at least uh, forming the, the foundation for some sort of a consolidation or sideways movement. So I'd say at this point of time, it's, this is a little bit more likely, but um, if I missed any bullish fundamentals or something, then you should throw this out of the window because with bullish fundamentals, we can definitely break above 10.6 and get up to 11 cents and, and, and maybe even uh, maybe even higher. 
So that's my take on Dogecoin this uh, Sunday. I want to wish you all a great, uh, great rest of the weekend. And for now, take care and bye.